Hello back everyone, this is Sar from Vintage and Modern Firearms. Today I've brought you a quite interesting firearm, an Italian submachine gun, the MOB38. This is actually a post-war variant of the MOB38, which stands for Moschetto Automatico Beretta. Um, as you can see, um, this variant has a push button crossbow safety um, located kind of in the middle of the um, the stock, the wooden port. And another interesting thing to notice about um, the Beretta 38 is the ejection port is actually on the left. This is an original um, Beretta 38 mag. Um, it holds 40 rounds, 49 millimeter rounds. One of the very distinct features, or let's say that one of the very cool features of the Beretta 38, the MOP 38, is the double trigger. So um, this submachine gun is um, both um, semi-auto and full auto, uh, but surprisingly it has no fire selector. Instead of that, it has these two triggers. So, the front one is semi-auto, and the rear one is full auto. Um, some machine guns are, are actually not, no, are not um, known for being accurate, but this one I've fired several times, and it is surprisingly very accurate. The designer, Tullio Marangoni, was left-handed, so that's why the ejection port is actually on the left. The MOB 38 was designed in 1935 by a guy named Tullio Marengoni. It was produced between 1938 until 1961. It had several variants, each with distinct features. This one is a post-war variant. Um, this is Beretta Model 3849, also called Model 4, as you can see. On top of the gun, Moschetto Automatico Beretta Model 4. Now all of them have uh, the year on them. This one is stamped 19. Uh, 59. So the Beretta 3849 is also called Model 4. So this is the push button cross bolt safety on it
Uh, the earlier variants of um, this submachine gun was, was quite heavy. It was around 4.8 um, kilograms empty. But the later variants, the post-war variants, were, were a bit lighter. Um, so this one is 3.2 um, kilograms. During World War II, the German Wehrmacht adopted um, three models of this Italian submachine gun. Um, they adopted the model, or the variant, uh, 3842 and 3843, and named it MP738. And in 1944, they adopted the newer variant, which was uh, the Beretta 3844, and the Germans called it MP739, or Machine and Pistole 739. This remained in um, service until 61, when it was replaced by the Beretta model 12S. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, there will be more videos of uh, rare and um, prominent firearms, or let's say significant firearms from the past century. Um, I'm mostly focusing on 20th century firearms and um, the frequency of the videos actually depends on, on your support. Okay, I really hope you consider becoming a Patreon so that I can make more time to make these videos, to find these firearms and to study them and eventually to showcase them and even make shooting videos about them. All right. Again, I hope you enjoyed this and until next video, stay safe everyone.